Hey everybody and welcome back to another video in my channel and um, what can I say it's been uh, rather busy hence why this one's taken a little bit longer to come to but uh, the reason is um, I have hopefully hopefully over the Christmas period i am been developing some quick apps which I'm hoping to then publish um over the over the christmas period and new year um and i'll have time to make the videos to go with it so watch this space but this particular video i've had to do pretty quickly is because we've had a couple of queries regarding these and it's all to do with the philips hue system um recent updates allowed us to well not philips hue i should say i should say zigbee devices uh, you know, let's say it properly, Zigbee devices of which Philips Hue are Zigbee. So what that means is we can potentially add um, Zigbee devices onto the Home Center 3 natively, just like a Z-Wave device. Now, it's been available now for the past two, three months now, and uh, we have various different uh, sensors and lights available. So what I'm going to do is um, we've been trying and testing these and they are working working quite well so i'm just going to show you how to set a product up so what do we do is once you've logged in uh, you click on the settings button and we're just going to add a new device now first things first make sure you're on pretty much the latest firmware um, and then this button will come along now if i remember correctly it's been around six months ago so if you've updated within the last six months you'll have it so you click on the Zigbee and we're not going to do use installation code. We're just going to click on start adding. So it's now waiting for the adding process to start. Now, all I have to do, if I remember correctly, um, as you can see, I just made sure that my light was switched on and it automatically found it for me. So in this case, I have a table lamp sorry a bulb one of the standard candle bulbs uh, plugged into a table lamp and it just automatically found it for me so now if i click on end joining mode we can see that it's added it here so let's call that uh, lamp as that's what it's plugged into um, and it comes up here as zigbee so you can identify which um, protocol it is so click on the advanced, so I'm just going to uh, hide this one. Oh, that's automatically hidden. So if I go back onto rooms, devices, just, there we are. So back here, we're back onto the lamp. So if I click on the pencil icon, sorry, eye icon, I can now turn it off and it's turned off. Turn it on and then, of course, change the colours. Now, I don't have the second camera set up, but... I can assure you color is changing and then uh, adjust the brightness accordingly like that so um there you have it and it's basically it's to be honest it's as simple as that now in terms of scenes id of the device is 681 so i'll make a note of that so what we can then do oh let's turn it off click on settings and scenes and then say if you wanted to put it into a scene, let's do a block scene first, for example, uh, call it whatever, save. And let's do, just set that up just to, just to, to give you a guide. So device, single device, and it's in systems and the device is called lamp. And then I can choose to say set color. These are the preset colors that were built in, if you see from the favorites or other color. And then we can just choose a, something like that. Yep. So a different, whichever color regime you want, hit set. And then hit save. That's it. So on 17th of December, 1111, this lamp will just turn on to that color. Okay, as simple as that. So if I press play, my lamp will... T no, it doesn't, because I forgot one of the following. 
one of these things the thing about these is you've got to send a turn on command which i totally forgot about um so when you do do this you make sure you do a turn on okay and then we're just going to make sure that we just put that above the others there so now when i press it it turns the lamp on and then changes the color so don't don't forget that all um, this applies to not just the um, Philips Hue type bulb, but pretty much any RGB device I have found that it, it has to have a turn on command. Okay. And in Lua, basically the same, just use the device ID to send the uh, commands through. Um, and that's it really. Um, like I said, it's only going to be a short video. Uh, just to show you how it all works and uh, if you have any questions oh before i forget the tried and tested stuff are the um all bulbs in the philips hue range have worked so the hue white hue what, what, what color and ambiance gu10 bulbs work the outdoor and indoor sensors are also compatible with this system so that Effectively, you can convert a Philips Hue sensor into uh, into the home center to be used, not just to activate Philips Hue devices, but also to activate any Z-Wave device. Um, and as you're aware that there is no decent external outdoor Z-Wave sensor. So this is where Philips Hue can, can play a part. You get one of the Philips Hue versions instead, add it to your system, and you can use that as your external sensor instead. So... Uh, uh you know it's a win-win um any questions just uh as usual you know where i am just give us a, a message or email or whatever or go onto the facebook channel and uh send a message through there and um i short and sweet that's it for now as usual hit the like if you like this video click the subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and the bell icon to be notified of all future videos um and that's it for now and i'll uh, see you guys later